Hello friends, welcome back to the channel and in case you're new here, my name is Nambi and on this channel I look forward to helping you achieve academic excellence. There are many courses that could be equivalent to medicine or even be much more beautiful than medicine but the problem is that you may be ignorant of these courses or you may be carried away by the hype from the society that medicine is a big fish. And as a result of this, you're stuck at pursuing medicine when there are other options that are very very beautiful that could even give you that beautiful life you look up to having. See, medicine is a very beautiful course, no doubt. In fact, it's a beautiful thing to be identified as a medical doctor after five, six, seven years of being a student in university. But it doesn't really mean that this is the only reliable route to living a successful life. And this mindset is a product of the society's influence on us. We now see medicine as the most lucrative or reliable profession. Well, this may be the case in the times of our fathers, but currently things have changed. And because of this perception we have about medicine, many of us work our ass out just to have a degree in the profession. I mean, many of us spend four or five years in the pursuit of admission into medicine, thinking it is the only route through which we can have that successful life. And it worries me when I see students go through all of this as a result of ignorance. Now, let me tell you a story about my friend. Years ago, this my friend finished his secondary education and wanted to um, gain admission into the university. But having heard all this whole stuff about medicine, he decided to go in for medicine and was really, really determined to gain admission into medicine. He spent four years in the pursuit of admission into medicine and on his fifth attempt, he was given the admission to study medicine in a university. But this my friend struggled and couldn't make it in his first MBBS exam. And he was just given the options of either leaving the department or being transferred into a lower department. Now, you may be thinking that this my friend would have gone for the option of, you know, being transferred into another department. But this wasn't the case with this my friend. He went all over again and began the admission process all over again because he wanted to study medicine. He just wanted to be called that medical doctor. And you see, this perception about medicine is a product of the society's influence on us. This perception has also made a number of us who did so well in secondary school feel like, okay, because we did so well in secondary school, therefore we have to study medicine. But I think that is where many of us are getting it wrong. It's high time we understood that our performances in high school or secondary school does not determine what we would become or how much we would perform in the university. To be frank with you, we've gone past that era where you have to study a particular course to live a successful life, where you have to study medicine before you live a successful and a happy life. And this is one thing I want this video correct in the minds of many people. You don't have to study a particular course to live that successful life you deserve, you deserve or you desire. And see, over time, things have changed. We can now get to see new things as the days go by. And I hope you don't get me wrong as you watch this video. And as a matter of fact, this is a very beautiful thing to pursue a career in medicine. And in case you're watching this video and you're studying medicine, it's, it's not to discourage you. As a matter of fact, medicine is still promising. It's a very beautiful course to study. But my point here is that don't be stuck after many attempts after your first second attempts you're not getting it and you feel like oh it has to be medicine you know you're pursuing you're putting all your efforts into gaining admission into medicine where there are other beautiful options for you to explore don't fix your gaze on studying a particular course there are so many other options so many other beautiful options you can explore there are other beautiful courses you can go for but you just have to make your research and in this video i'm going to list a few of them that would help you you can try studying other courses if a particular course does not work it mustn't be a particular course besides it's not even a guarantee that you will have to practice whatever it is you studied in the university i mean things have changed even for those studying medicine to be frank with you it is not a guarantee that when you're done studying medicine it is a very sure thing that you'll be employed as soon as you're done your studies. I mean, the end goal is to live a happy life and a successful life so that you can take care of yourself and take care of your loved ones. So anything that can lead you there, any course you can study that can take you there, any skill you can learn that will take you there, it's what's giving your time and attention. So it's not about being a particular course before you can live that life. Anything you do at all, like any course you do at all, like any course, if you put in your best, 
and then give it your all, you can reach there as well. I know of a lot of doctors who have dropped out of medical professions to pursue a career that gives them a happier and a successful living. I personally know a few who have dropped out to pursue a career in music and some in content creation and some into other things too. So you see, the ultimate goal is to live a happy and a successful life. So anything can take you there. It mustn't be missing. Any course you study, anything at all, any skill you've learned can take you there. So it mustn't be missing. So if you try medicine, on your first attempt, second attempt, and it doesn't go through for you, you mustn't be stuck at it. And then you'll be like, oh, it has to be medicine. I have to study medicine. I have to wait until I gain admission into studying medicine. I mean, my friend, the clock is ticking. You may be in your late teenage years or in your early 20s, and you feel you have so much time on your side. But the truth is, if you're not open to exploring other options, you may end up finishing your university education late. You will definitely grow older. And the time is not waiting for you. By the time you wait and wait and wait. I know you may allow yourself into believing that you're passionate about becoming a medical doctor. I mean, but deep down, we know that you just want to be called a medical doctor. You love that respect, that dignity that accompanies it. You just love that title and you want to live a successful life. You want to live large. But don't forget also that as a successful person, Nobody cares to know what you studied in school. You will definitely earn that respect from the society or from people around you. But let me also mention that studying medicine is not a guarantee that you'll become a medical doctor. I mean, there are a lot of medical doctors who, have, who are out of the medical school, but they are yet to be employed. They are looking for even means of survival. And again, this is not to discourage you in case you're studying medicine. I mean, it's a very beautiful course. And I hope that when you're done studying, you gain employment. There are tons of courses that you can go for if medicine does not work out for you. There are other professions like engineering. Engineering is a broad field. And in engineering, there are beautiful courses like chemical engineering, biomedical engineering, nanotechnology, and so much more. So you can do your research and pick a suitable one for you. There are many engineers who earn much more than medical doctors and they are living the life of their dreams. There are also good courses in computer and information science like computer science, data science, AI, that is artificial intelligence. And these courses are really beautiful courses. And in fact, I know of a few doctors who took up careers in data science along the line and dropped their professions in medicine for real. Generally, a successful career in tech is very lucrative and pays off immensely many professionals in tech earn much more than many medical doctors i mean the most successful medical doctors and the beautiful thing about the career in tech is that you don't even need a university degree to begin and this means that irrespective of the course you choose to study you can also acquire a tech skill on the side and this will increase your chances of being employed when you graduate it could be digital marketing copywriting email marketing and these professions don't even require coding skills and it is not even compulsory that you have to learn coding you have to know how to code you have to learn python and the rest of them before you can dive into tech there are other professions in the tech space that don't require these coding skills and you can go for any of them an average entry level copywriter ends between $35,000 to $40,000 annually and this is much more than the earnings of many medical doctors there are other courses like biomedical science, physiotherapy, biotechnology, nursing, pharmacy. All these courses are beautiful and they are very related to medicine. So you can go for any of them if medicine does not work out for you. And the list keeps on going. There are many other beautiful courses you can go for. Don't be stuck pursuing a particular course. Explore other career options. And you may be lucky enough to study a course you're actually meant to study. Because a lot of times we choose a career path as a result of the influence of our peers, our parents, and even our teachers. And we don't even pay attention to our gifts and talent, what we are really good at. And this is the reason many spend so much years in the pursuit of admission into medicine and end up not graduating because of their poor performances in school. I hope this video helps you in making the right decision as you seek entry into the university. And the clock is ticking, my friend, and you don't have to spend so much time in the pursuit of a particular course. And with this, we've come to the end of today's video. Please do not forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed, share this video so it can get to the reach of other people who need them too. And let me get to know your thoughts in the comment section. And until next time, take care.